Yeah, four seconds. I think that's all we're taking, right? And what does this study tell you? Uh, we're looking at how fast the fish are growing. So we're looking at age and growth of the fish stock for the red snapper to help reassess what the population looks like and how we're going to manage the people. Now you don't give people tags so no. tag fish get caught, right? going for a bone called the otolith, which is in the inner ear. It's right above where the gills play. This is a little bloody. And what I want to do is break open this cap here right here. Okay. Left here at 4, 4.30, we had the inlet by 5, our uh, seas were about 2, 2.5 at that time, then it kind of calmed down once we were out there. Okay. Now you can see this bone, it's located in the cavity right here. that appreciate the limit. I wish it was more than one, but the yeah. sizes are really nice. Uh -huh. Past few weeks I've caught some that were double than those. Right. However, they had to go back. Um, so hopefully tomorrow the next day I'll get some of those. All right, this is what the bone that we take looks like right here. Fantastic. It's called an odlet. And that tells you a lot. Yeah, this is going to tell us how old it is. See all these rings in there? It's like a tree ring. Yep. yep. Essentially like tree rings. So. Cool. You guys are going to be famous on our club's YouTube page. Okay. We like to do outreach stuff. Anything we can help get how we're conserved, doing conservation. Now. Well, we do Ponce and New Smyrna area, so last year a bunch we were over at the other side right over there. That's probably why. For some reason. They, the bigger boats come in here, so this is where all yeah. the red snapper will come in. Exactly. That, that's what was happening, but we had the site already selected, so... Yeah, that's the small boat yeah. side. Real I can't get in now, though. So we had to do that side. Random selection often ends up with well, I'm sorry you guys have to be the rain. Uh, I'm the first one coming in. First one coming in with fish. Yeah. And we, we had both of we had all of ours uh, by nine and nine thirty. Nine really? nine thirty, yeah. And we got a few after that, but I meant the yeah. you know, we could have just left. A big we, sharks. Huge sharks. Huge. Bigger bigger than me, some huge. <laughs> see what kind they were? Uh, well, I got them on video, so when I watch the video again, I'll be able yeah. to tell, because once once the heads were out by the boat, I cut them loose. I mean, they were, yeah. I wouldn't have even wanted to put them on the boat, really. They were it, big. It would have been like a few hundred pounds of meat, but probably, uh, I don't know what, we would have done the damn. Like dusky look? Yeah, not thick. Not, not like bull shark. Bull yeah. Okay. If you remember to go on shrimp 
Flippinfishflorida.com, you'll be uh, they'll be linked to the video. You can see what it was. Yeah. You'll see you guys too. <laughs> Now, do you guys take turns, or is he the guy that officially does it? And haphazardly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, All I'm right. glad I could help. I'm glad we you were here, and thank you for letting us uh, film you. No and there he is, taking taking my fish back to the boat.